So Magnus, we are summarizing the first quarter. Uh, how has the year started for Vattenfall? Well, it has started very well, I think. Uh, we can see a clear improvement in the result. We have 10% up on underlying profit. Uh, we have also seen better volumes, good production. And we have also seen several proof points of our purpose, which I think is important. We have started the biggest turbine ever produced so far. We haven't started it, but we have constructed it. And uh, this is the fifth quarter in a row, actually, we are showing a positive result. Uh, um, what's the driver and are there any particular business area that are contributing this time? Well, this quarter we especially see three things happening. The first one is that business area generation is showing a very strong quarter, mainly due to uh, cold weather and high prices in uh, the Nordics. So both the hydro production and the nuclear production is showing very good results. Secondly, we see a good result also in uh, customer and solutions in the Netherlands, also due to cold weather. And we see uh, an increased uh, inflow of customers, especially in, uh, in Germany. Uh, we also have um, a contribution from distribution due to, to the cold weather. And then we have all of the new wind capacity coming in compared to last year, for example. So many areas are developing in the right direction. But what about heat? You would expect uh, this to be a good quarter for heat. Uh, you're mentioning the cold weather. That's absolutely true. Um, however, the spreads have been deteriorating uh, in continental. And we have seen an increase of the CO2 prices, but not an increase of the power prices to the same extent. And this is hitting our uh, heat business the first quarter. It's another quarter, actually. Overall, we are seeing um, uh, we are benefiting from uh, uh, increased prices. Um, is, there, is that a sign of a finally better outlook, Magnus? Uh, I think it's too early to say that because previously we have seen uh, problems with the nuclear in France, for instance, keeping prices up. Now we see the cold weather. Uh, if you look to our general expectations, prices should be coming up because we know that you will have a phase out of cold, you will have a phase out of nuclear in Germany. So it should go in one direction, but I think short term it's very difficult to say. But now we have seen it for a while and of course, let's hope it lasts. Mm. Anna, you mentioned um, uh, actually more customers are choosing Vattenfall and uh, this quarter, and that's on top of a pretty good uh, development last year. Um, uh, how come? I think there are several answers to that. Uh, I mean, uh, we have spent a lot of time and focus showing that we are actually delivering uh, on our ambition to become fossil free in one generation. And I think that is being noticed. We can see that also in improved net promoter score, etc. Uh, but I also think it's a lot of traditional hard sales work, uh, being able to show the right propositions at the right time to the right customer in the right channel. So I would say it's a combination of the two. Magnus, any comment from your side on that? Well, I would probably pick up on the last part of that because I think uh, the, there is a very emotional drive in customers and solution to serve the customers. And I think in the end, we will see that in the NPS going up, the net promoter score. And we also see it, I think, in how customers perceive us and that we can gain more customers. But we are also, of course, active in acquiring customers and through several channels. And then it's very important to, to keep them. And I think that's what we are very good at. And NPS is a measurement of customer satisfaction. Absolutely. And it sort of tells you who do you want to recommend. And of course, we want others to recommend us, right? Wind uh, keeps increasing its weight in the company and um, I think in the past quarter we, we reached somewhat uh, uh, a milestone in winning the first non-subsidized wind project in the Netherlands. Um, Magnus, what does it mean and how are we going to make money? Well, let me first congratulate uh, the whole wind team on, on winning this auction. I think it was uh, not an easy task. It's a beauty contest, we know that, and you have to have experience coming back. You have to show what you've done before. And you also have to present your case in a very good way. So I think I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, but if we, if we look forward, of course, uh, we expect to make money if we have the lowest cost. I think that's very important. And we have been able to drive down our costs. That's the reason why we are also participating in this auction now. So not let the eye go on the cost side. And then I think in the future also to have an eye on how can we connect these investments to the market with uh, long-term contracts, with customer contracts, with new installations in data centers or, or whatever it is. I think it's a combination of a lot of different things that makes me think that we are in a good position to make money out of these types of investment. We are, during the quarter we, we, we took further steps into um, the sort of climate smarter living services area. I mean we expanded in-house to, um, uh, to Europe, we uh, established new business units, uh, 
in heat and uh, uh, electrical ve vehicles, so charging uh, units. Uh, Anna, how do you see this area growing for Vattenfall? And are there any new sort of service areas uh, we are considering? Well, I think these new solutions will be increasingly important for us going forward. I think the market uh, has a focus on decentralized solutions to a larger extent than before. Uh, and I also think that the combination of services and, and offerings will increase uh, as well. Uh, but both in-house and e-mobility that you mentioned are still in uh, very much of a piloting phase, I would say. We are trying out new business models in order to see what we think will fly or not. And then in the next phase, scaling will be important, especially on the e-mobility side, in order to be competitive. Mm -hmm. And I'm sh quite sure we will have other new kind of offerings as well, but let's make sure that we now focus on, on delivering and finding good business models for all the things that we are exploring. Another event that actually marked the quarter was also that we launched a new brand expression, which is the first major overhaul of our brand expression since 1992. Um, how, Magnus, how do you think this will benefit the business? Well, I think in many ways, of course, it's, it's very important to be clear about your brand expression, but it goes back to the fact that we have changed direction of the company, strategic direction, we have a purpose which is clear. I think it's important to signal change mm. and signal change through the expression of how we look and how people see us is, is very important. It's about the logotype, it's about all the different things that we show ourselves, but also what we talk about, proof points, uh, to tell the real story behind the purpose and to become fossil free within one generation. So, and I know there has been a lot of discussions also, of course, on the intranet when you change like the logotype, and I, that's a natural thing. Mm. Uh, but I was very early sold on this, and I think it's just a very nice way of expressing our company, very fresh. And I've heard a lot about it. And of course, I become very proud when I see all these things appearing around us in society about our company. Anna. Well, I think that uh, the new sort of brand expression gives us a very, very good way of exemplifying what we are actually doing, just as you point out. And I think that's the key uh, in order to uh, have even more customers wanting to choose us. I'm looking forward to the continuation. And speaking of a continuation, we have an exciting start of the year. Uh, what can we expect uh, coming up for the rest of the year? I think we're talking a lot about new businesses uh, and I think that is a very important because that shows uh, a big part of the direction of the company but it's also important to highlight uh, our sort of base business in terms of hydro and nuclear for instance that have done re really well during this quarter mm -hmm. so that we can see that we are not just one company in terms of new things, we are a company in lots of different things. Mm -hmm. And I think that is how it has to go on for this whole year. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm cautiously positive about the year. Anna, what about you? Well, uh, one quarter down, three to go. Mm -hmm. um, we need to focus on delivering. We have very ambitious targets for this year and now we need to make sure we continue to deliver on them throughout the year. We also need to make sure that we succeed with the, the um, uh, implementation of Foxtrot and the continuation of the golf initiative. So that's also going to be critical for us. So um, we're on the right track uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, keep working for the rest of the year together with all of the business areas to fulfill the targets. Great talking to you as always. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you, you so much.